going for you so far? I mean, I know you're not deep in yet, but as far as your adjustment to a whole new philosophy, whole new staff, things of that sort. Uh, it's been going well, you know. Um, we've just been taking in everything they've been teaching us. Coach Blue's been teaching us a lot of new stuff. Uh, we've been taking it nicely. Uh, we've been learning the defense, the new philosophy, everything, and it's coming along good. We still got things that we have to improve on as a defense, but we're starting to get there. What do you uh, What do you like about the approach of the, of the new coaching staff and the, and the defensive backfield? Um, the approach, I like how they uh, come out, coach us, just tell us the truth, what we do, uh, what we do good and what we do bad. You know, uh, they show us what we need to fix uh, more than showing you the good things because you need to know what, uh, what you do wrong instead of what you do good so you can improve on that. What's it like to go through this? Like, you know, this isn't what you signed up for, and, and it's a whole new whole new deal in that sense. What, what, how do you get your mind around that? Um, You know, it's not uh, it's not nothing crazy because, you know, uh, the end-all goal is to be in the NFL. And, you know, the NFL – is almost the same. It's a, it's a business. So, you know, things are going to move around. You're going to get traded or anything. So, I mean, you just have to learn to adjust and uh, be able to move on with things. So, you know, uh, at the same time I am, uh, it's definitely not what I signed up for, but at the same time, I'm not going to let it stop me from uh, my end goal. What's important when you're getting to know a staff, like in this period before you're preparing for games, when, you're, when there's defenses being implemented and stuff like that, what's the most important thing for you in terms of trusting them and them trusting you? Um, really just them just telling us what they need from us and just them really uh, telling us the truth overall so we can be able to get the job done. And um, i say that's probably the biggest thing. So what's like a, a piece of truth that you've gotten already from them? That um, You know, when they first came in, they had broke down, my, uh, they had broke down uh, a lot of our film already, so they watched all of our games. Some of the stuff they said I got to improve on is just uh, taking plays off uh, and stuff like that. And, I mean, that's the truth. I felt like I left some things on the field out there last year that I have to improve on. Um, and every day he just makes sure, every day Coach Blue makes sure he stays on top of me uh, so that I can keep doing that, I can keep learning, building my football IQ and making more plays. Positionally, where are you expected to be and play and, you know, settle in? Uh, same, uh, same as last year, you know, go out there, uh, that same role, be a player, make plays, uh, take our team to, uh, to where we have to be. How has having so many guys back from last year helped with the adjustment to the new staff? It's helped, it's helped a lot. Uh, you know, that chemistry between all of us, uh, it made it a lot easier when we were learning the playbook, um, learning the new learning the new philosophy and all of that, because, you know, having a whole new room and all of that, a lot of guys aren't adjusted to each other. With us, we're already adjusted to each other. We play with each other. So it's been easy. At the same time, it's still hard, but we're uh, it's, it's coming along nice. What's been the biggest adjustment for you? going from the old staff and the old philosophy to this one? Um, that's a good, uh, I would say, I'll say what they're asking for. They're asking, uh, they're asking for us to be better players. Uh, they're asking a lot of us and, you know, we have to, we have to live up to what they're asking. And I think that's, a. I actually, I like that because, you know, they're holding us to a high standard. I was going to say hi great. higher expectations. Yeah, higher expectations. Uh, we got away with a lot of stuff last year that wasn't good, and it sh obviously showed up on the field. And you know they're trying to get all of that out of here. So I definitely say that's probably a big thing. I know it's so early on, but what differences do you see in the team and the culture that's being built at this point compared to at this point last year? Um, I would say you know we're playing a lot faster. We're uh, playing as a team uh, a lot. We're coming along fast. We're coming along faster. I would say a lot of our uh, on defense. I would say we're picking it up. We're getting out there. We're always in the building, always getting extra work. Um, a lot of stuff that I wouldn't say we were doing last year, we've been doing this year. What, one of the things, like a, a year ago, you thought you were part of a group that was here to sort of change the program, like your class and the class around you. Like this was going to be the group. Yes, sir. And I'm wondering if you guys still have that sense or if it feels more like a transition, like how what happened last year and, and, and going through everything change that perspective from you, from your particular group? Um, you know, what happened last year, it was definitely tough, but at the same time, we can't let that, we can't let that define who we are. So coming into this year, you know, we just have to be better. We have to do a lot, uh, we have to do a lot more things down to the last detail. We got to be smarter players. We got to make more plays because, uh, you know, to get to where we want to be, 
we have to be we have to be better overall. The whole team, from offense to defense to special teams, you know, like what we did last year just wasn't what we are really. Um, and as a defensive group, I feel like this year coming up is going to be a, a real test to show who we are. Was are there any advantages to enduring last season? Anything that you come out of that was um, that you think that helps long term? Definitely. Um, you know, that whole series of events is something that doesn't happen very often because, you know, going in to your first two games, coming off your first two games, going in to one of your big games against Washington and having all of that news break out, you know, it just does a lot to a team. And, you know, I'm just thankful for all the guys that were able to stick through and stay strong and just finish out the season because, you know, that showed character. I show grit that you were able to go through all of that and still be able to come out every day, come in, practice, and play. Is there a, a, an additional bond between the guys who were, went through that and have stuck around? Yes, definitely. You know, um, it's a crazy thing. You know, you come in here, you never expect anything like that to happen. So, you know, with all of that, we've been able to get closer because, you know, with a new staff coming in, you know, you just got to be able to stick together because you never know what happens. Um, but with our staff, you know, they're giving all of us a chance to come out here and prove how good we are. Um, and that's all we can ask for, and that's all we're going on. You guys last season put on a lot of, like, brave faces and really stuck together. But I think it's kind of revealing last week, I think it was Derek Harmon said that, you know, guys are actually excited to be here. Feel like, you guys are happy to be here. I mean, how, how much lighter do you guys feel heading into spring or in spring practice now versus maybe where you were at mentally and emotionally back in the fall? Um, I feel it's great, you know. Coming in in the fall, I say a lot of us, a lot of people were just drained. Like a lot of people were just walking in here. They didn't really want to do anything. They were tired. Coming here in the spring, everybody's running everywhere. Everybody's getting to the ball. Everybody's, everybody wants to learn. Everybody's coming in after to get more work. I say that's probably one of the big things um, from the spring to the fall. How long uh, did it take for, I guess, everything to clear for you and for you to to trust this new staff, or was it just to a point of you were so you know greedy for something new that you were gonna jump right in? Um, I would say with the new staff, um, just them coming in, I was able to meet with them early on. So just being able to meet with them uh, consistently, you know, that helped build trust over time, um, and that definitely helped a lot. Um, yeah. Who were those meetings with? Those first few meetings, remember? Uh, yeah, I met with Coach Blue, uh, Coach Rossi, uh, Coach Smith, you know, a lot of them. Because they, uh, like I said, they had watched, broke down our film. They had brought us in to talk about a lot of things. When you hear for the first time the idea of, like, something like taking plays off or something that they want to correct, what was what was your initial reaction? Were you sort of receiving of it? Did you agree with it? I did agree with it, yes. Because, um, you know, watching the film, looking back, like, there are definitely things that I could do better. Uh, I have to do better if we want to, uh, if our team wants to be great. So when they told me everything that I had to improve on, I just took it, and um, I've been working on it ever since. What specifically are you working on? Um, just taking plays off, uh, running to the ball, having better football IQ, and making more plays. <laughs> Jay, last week on the Rachel Williams Foundation came up. Uh, what was it like seeing a lot of your Metro Detroit area coaches be here at practice, especially through this transition of uh, the new team and everything going forward? It was definitely good to see all of them. Uh, saw a few of my uh, Little League coaches, which was good. Uh, I was happy to see them. Make your back stand up straight a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, no, it was definitely good. Um, but just being able to see all of them come from, like, that same area that I'm coming from, you know, it was good because, you know, um, shows what we're doing and how we're getting uh, the name out there in that area. So mm -hmm. we just got to keep doing that. And uh, I know they'll be here at this next level. Yeah, and then to reflect back, you're talking about Little League coaches. Talk about your time then as a Little League athlete playing and want to do great and being at this point. Talk about that arc and what that's been like. Oh, uh, for sure. Um, in Little League, I wasn't playing DB. I was playing wide receiver. So um, I had a different mindset. You know, I wanted to come in and be the great. Be one of the greats, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> wanted to go out there, you know, uh, you know, be, do what they have to do. You know, they say offense sells tickets, but, you know, defense wins championships. So when I made that switch, you know, I felt that was best for me because, you know, there aren't a lot of tall DBs uh, out there anymore. So when uh, when they told me that they think I should switch to DB, I was like, okay, I can, I, I can get behind that. Mm -hmm. So I definitely enjoyed that. Yeah, great, thank you. Yes.
I appreciate you. I think it was uh, Dylan a couple weeks ago who said he was excited for you because you put on, you know, some weight this off season. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how much how much weight did you put on, and how do you feel that kind of translates into practice so far? Oh, for sure. I put on 12 pounds, um, so I've been up. Uh, definitely, I'm, I feel uh, I'm definitely gonna gain some more before we get in the next season, and um, you know, I feel good. I'm still moving fluently. I can still cover field with those 12 pounds, so I'm gonna keep adding and adding and getting stronger. And then once I start to feel that sluggish and where I can't hold anymore, that's where I'll uh, start cutting and just working on my strength. What do you want to get up to? Um, for the season, I want to uh, – well, going into fall camp, I want to try to get up to uh, 205 because I know it's going to uh, go down through because we're going to be working so much. So season, I want to play around like that 195, 200 mark. You said uh, – well, I guess everyone knows defense wins championships. Yeah. But um, – Defensively, this team hasn't been really – that hasn't been a strong area over the last two seasons or so. Um, what What's just, like, your early impressions of Rossi and what he's trying to implement and the rest of the coaches on that side of the ball? Um, what they're trying to implement, you know, their whole scheme, uh, their way of thinking, I think uh, I really like it. Uh, the whole defense likes it, you know. What they're trying to do, they're trying to turn us into, to like, a pro offense. I meant – sorry. <laughs> pro defense. And um, stopping big plays, you know, they want us to create takeaways, eliminate explosives. You know, the big thing is stopping a run. Um, I said we have to improve on that, definitely on our pass game, pass coverage too. There's a lot of things, you know, they've been working on it. And seeing where they've come from and the success that they've had, um, it's just like, why can't we do that with them now? How refreshing is it to get some different minds in here um, and, you know, create, offer different philosophies and kind of change things around to try to... Um, I would say it was good. You know, last year, uh, the philosophy that they had, you know, it was really good too. Um, everything, but you know, it was just, it was just tough to be able to hold that philosophy with everything going on. So I definitely say that was, that was a struggle. But you know, with their new philosophy coming in, it still has same pieces from last year. But um, overall, it's a whole new feel. Um, they want us to be, they want us to execute better. They showed us how we've played and how they want us to improve, so we just have to take uh, what they're telling us to do. I wasn't here for the beginning of last year, but defensive, what were the philosophies last season that they were trying to implement? Uh, our philosophies last season? Ooh, let me let me remember this. <laughs> Ooh, I can't remember this. It was early in the season. No, that's our new ones. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I remember, I remember our new ones. Our new ones are how toughness and technique. So, you know, yeah. those are our new ones. Uh, but from last year, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Attention to detail. Yeah. Um, yeah, aggregate. Yeah, you know, it was a lot of that stuff. Um, but, you know, a lot of the new stuff they're bringing in, I enjoy it too. I'm wondering how much are, are you guys teaching you guys came over from Oregon State about what Big Ten football is, and how much are they teaching you about Pac-12 stuff with the new teams coming in? It's, uh, oh yeah, we're definitely teaching each other a lot, because you know, uh, with the Pac-12 teams coming in, they have, they play, in the Pac-12, they play a whole different style of offense. So, you know, um, with them, with our Pac-12 coaches coming over, they've been teaching us the different types of uh, concepts, all the stuff that they're going to run against us. And then with us, you know, we've just been teaching them uh, the run game, because you know, the Big Ten is it's a whole different it's whole different in the Pac-12 when it comes to running, and also um, and also the rivalries. You know, um, that school down the road, we definitely been teaching them that it's, it's going to get crazy. <laughs> kind of know that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Oh yeah, of course.